Well, they have announced the final patch, the final update, the last batch of characters, and hopefully they're not the last batch of changes, for the captain is dead. So I figured I would read through these notes for other people who like to hear YouTube videos of news instead of reading it yourself, like the lazy bums you are. Uh, so, this is announcing the uh, next two and last two characters, the janitor and the first officer. Um, I'm not just going to read this. Um, it also says that they're going to, that uh, they're going to add some new characters, uh, or they're going to add the ability to have seven characters, but I'll get to that. Uh, the first officer is finally somebody who we can have instead of the admiral. Um, the Admiral feels a little necessary right now. The First Officer has the same stats as the Soldier, which is a little interesting in terms of design space. Um, uh, six hand limit, first in turn order. Uh, once per turn you may draw a battle plan for one less action, or you may search the battle plan's deck and retrieve a card by spending four command and two actions. That second ability is actually pretty significant. Um, being able to grab whichever battle plan you want from the deck can be pretty powerful. It's a pretty high cost. Uh, two actions and four blue, uh, which is really only three blue. Uh, and most likely the first officer is going to be getting um, Grow the Beard uh, on themselves, uh, which will make them good. The janitor, though, is somebody I've really been looking forward to. They were always, well, he was always my favorite character, or one of my favorite at least, from the base game, and I was really upset when he hadn't been in the game yet. Uh, so I'm really happy to see him being added. Uh, when repairing or reinstalling uh, systems, you may spend actions as wild skill cards. That is crazy. So, for example, if he has no cards, he could fix the teleporter for four actions. He spends two actions for the two actions you need to spend, and then he spends two actions to account for the two engineering. Um, yeah, that's really good. And when he starts his turn with a tool, he has an extra action, which is also really good. Uh, so you want to get this guy a tool as soon as possible, probably have him hold on to it. One of those tools that is maybe um, circumstantial in terms of how useful it is, something like the laser rifle. Uh, they talk a little bit about what the first, ac uh, first officer and the janitor do. Um, First, I wasn't sure how they were going to do the first officer. This looked like they were going to have the first officer be a female, but they described him as a he, which I always thought he was. So I guess that's the way they're going. I think they're going to maybe have sort of like a Spock-type uh, character. And then for the janitor, um, there are rumors of things, which I won't talk about, because uh, I don't like spreading rumors. Uh, the other changes that they're going to be making, um, it says improved tactical HUD. I'm not entirely sure what that means, although there is talk of them adding it to iPhone, uh, which I'm pretty excited about as I play on iPhone a lot. Uh, Wacid scrolling. Um, I don't really think you need to scroll in this game, but, uh, you know, it's good. Crewman loadout selection. I've been requesting this for a while. I'm really happy that they are doing this. Uh, because the crewman in the base game, you get to choose what item he starts with, and that can be fun to try starting with different items. I mean, I generally start with the laser rifle, but starting with the scanner might be a good idea, or starting with the teleporter. Uh, starting with the teleporter actually might be real good, uh, since he might be dying a lot and spawning back onto the bridge. It might be worth it to start him with the teleporter. Who knows? Um, or the laser pistol if you want to get early efficiency in terms of action point economy. Um, and that's why often when we played, we sort of saw the crewman as a, if you aren't using the soldier, use the crewman. Maximum crew to seven. Uh, this will be interesting. That's what the uh, board game has. Not sure whether I waited until now to do it. Uh, can't say. Uh, Steam leaderboards. Now this I'm a bit excited about. This will give me more of a reason to keep playing and try to get high scores. Uh, figure out ways to maximize scores, try to get first place, could be fun, could be real fun, uh, and more. <laughs> sure, uh, okay, fine. Um, yeah, and they say we have a big secret about one of the final two characters that we're not quite ready to share just yet. If you want to find out what it is, over to the, head over to the Discord. Um, yeah, 
So I think the rumor is that the voice actor for the janitor is the voice actor for Duke Nukem. Uh, I can't verify that because I'm too lazy to look it up, but I'm pretty sure his name is listed in the credits, and then I just have to go look up and see what it is. Um, but, you know, I'm too lazy. And uh, I don't like spreading rumors, so I'm not going to. But uh, there is a voice line that was posted on the Discord, and whoever is doing the voice for the janitor, uh, it's real cool because the janitor is real cool. And, you know, kind of a silly cool type of character because, you know, it's, he, he's a janitor. Uh, but he's super fun, and uh, it looks like he'll be really fun in the game. So yeah, uh, they're not adding a whole lot, but they're adding a lot that we've been requesting. So I'm really excited. Uh, you guys should be excited. And if you aren't excited, at least have Godspeed.